You know, in my uh, medical practice, I see many patients that have uh, uh, problems with uh, inflammation. And inflammation has many causes, but the most current and uh, pressing reason for inflammation in your body is too much weight. At some point, we must become aware that being overweight is a definite uh, a drainage system on our well-being. So that's why we put together this course because uh, although I do a lot of uh, surgical procedures and help people in that way, I noticed even after their medical or surgical condition is corrected, they're still suffering. I have uh, done a lot of research uh, after facing this problem on my own and uh, put together this course so that we can go through various steps and various approaches uh, using uh, clinical evidence and scientific research to find out how we can reverse this process. Because we now know that clearly 70% of our population is either obese or dangerously overweight. Uh, that's a startling statistic, but you know, when I walk around the mall or look in our city, I think that it's uh, a little bit um, naive to think that that figure is only 70%. It's much higher than that. Life is meant to be enjoyed. And I believe, actually, based on my own experience, because I was also a bit miserable and I was self-conscious of being overweight, it did stifle my desire to socialize. It made me hold up instead of getting in the pool and swimming laps. I would stay at home and, uh, you know, bury myself in my studies. I think that we can reverse that process and it's a very simple process to reverse. I'm not saying that it's easy, but I'm saying the concepts are simple and they are more or less um, intuitive. If you think about it, you have to first decide that your body is worth preserving and pain is worth avoiding. And why would we you know, foreclose or why would we foreclose on our well-being by taking a few minutes to indulge ourselves in these sugary treats when you think about it, you eat a candy bar. How long does that pleasure last? Maybe a minute or two, and yet it can lead to a lifetime of pain, misery, arthritis, diabetes 2, heart conditions, and the list goes on and on, all related to our diets and our sedentary lifestyles and even our mental attitudes. These all contribute to the process of obesity and other conditions, which in the course we're going to cover uh, quite extensively. What's it going to take? You have tried every possible diet combination and fad diet that comes along, and yet you are still suffering with overweight and obesity. Maybe I can scare you a little bit when I cover some of the specifics of what's happening to your body. Maybe I can convince you that you are worth saving. But if you don't have that self-awareness, uh, think of how obesity and the fact that you're going to become less and less active and less and less fun to be with, how does that affect your family? How does it affect the people around you? How does it affect your ability to provide and to fulfill your purpose in life? I have seen many patients coming into my office that could almost uh, be in a wheelchair because of their obesity. And they have pain. They can't explain why they have pain, but they have arthritis in their knees. They have knee replacement surgeries, which might help them for a while, but unless they knock off some of that weight, they're going to have more problems down the road and they're going to become a burden to their family 
and they're going to become a burden to our medical care system. I'd like to ask you a few questions here. Based on the fact that we now know that uh, obesity and overweight and a sedentary lifestyle and a very bad attitude contributes to your downfall over the years and will cause a lot of suffering in your life. Now, the question I have for you is, does this make sense to you? Does it, can you relate to any of this? Does it make you want to think about your future or even your, your very close relatives? How they're going to have to suffer along with your suffering as time goes on? So answer the questions for your own self. And remember, although we can come up with many, many excuses, when you say, I can't do something, you're lying to yourself because it, it's not that you can't do it because many, many people have done this. Followed the system, become aware of certain concepts. Many people have done it. It's not that you can't do it. It's that you won't do it. If you say, I can't, do you realize that you're lying to yourself? It's not a can't thing. It's that you refuse to take the effort to do it. So what I'm telling you today is I want you to get this free book and it's going to help you understand some concepts. It's called 12 Secrets of Radically Healthy People. We want to divulge these secrets. It's time to share this with the world. It's time to make some moves here. So take a look at the website. Make a decision and let's go with this. I'm ready to work with you. I'm Dr. Tom Ashton.